In this video we're going to have a look at doing color separations of this little cartoon character. Uh, as you can see it is a four color print, uh, red, yellow, black and green. The first thing that we're going to need to check is what color breakdown has been used in the design. As you'll see here this is a CMYK breakdown. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is obviously convert the CMYK down to a Pantone spot color. Uh, and how we do this is by going to the color palette and selecting the Pantone solid coated. Uh, you'll have a look on the right hand side here. Uh, you'll see the Pantone color range. It has a little white little dot at the bottom left hand corner that, uh, that tells you that it's a spot color. So why do we need to use the Pantone colors? Well the one reason is, is if we're printing in CMYK that means we're printing in cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Whereas when we print with a Pantone color, we're just using one color, which is a spot color. If you have a look at this little cartoon character and we have a look in the red, uh, we'll note that if you look at the CMYK breakdown, it's probably around about 100% uh, magenta and 100% yellow to make that red. Whereas if we just use the Pantone color, that would just be 100% red. So now you need to go ahead uh, using the Pantone colors on the right hand side is going into the artwork and select the color yellow change it to the Pantone do the same with the green change it to the Pantone and lastly uh, select the black and change that to a Pantone black as well alright so now that we've completed the changing the colors uh, we can now go ahead and do the color separations using Coral Draw. Alright, so let's go to File, Print Preview. Okay, so now you'll see the, uh, the printed version in full color before we do the separations. Next, click on the Settings tab. This will open up a new dialog box. So in this dialog box, you'll be able to set up your printer, uh, your color separations, register marks, and anything to do with that uh, part of the process. In the printer's uh, drop down menu, I'm just going to select uh, Adobe PDF, but obviously you'll be using whatever printer you'll be um, printing directly to. All right, the next tab we're gonna select is the color, and in there you'll notice that you've got print composite and print se uh, separations. You wanna click on print separations and apply. You'll now notice that your artwork has all turned to black and separations has been completed. You can also use the tabs below to scroll through all your different colors. What I have picked up is that we have two different blacks. If we have a look at back at our artwork, you'll notice that the outline of color sets is a different black from the one we used as a Pantone. Let's just convert that back to a Pantone so that we can correctly view the color separations. Now if we go through all the tabs and have a look at the colors, they should all be correct. This is also a perfect way to find any mistakes that we may have made or missed some of the colors that, that haven't been converted to the Pantone range. This in turn will save you a lot of money uh, prior to printing positives because once you've printed the positives, the cost has already been incurred. Alright, so if we go back to our settings dialog box, and we click on separations we can actually have a look at the Pantone color breakdown in the artwork. There's also some extra features and settings that you can use within this tab. Next we have a look at the layout. We don't want to change anything within the layout. Uh, the size is correct. The scale of your artwork should be done in the design stage uh, and not in the layout stage. This will enable you to have the correct sizing of your artwork Sizing your artwork on the layout tab is not advisable. All right, next we're going to click on pre-press. Here we can select our registration marks, uh, color calibration bars, which we don't require in screen printing, tick marks if needed, and document information, example, job card number. Or if you prefer artwork name, once you've completed that, click apply. Now you can actually have a look, we don't see any registration marks or job card name. That's why we need to click on marks to objects and apply. 
Now you'll actually see the registration marks appearing on the job. The registration marks have different options. Um, I like the one that gives me a center mark. So if you have a look at the drop down menu, there are four options. I prefer the last option. Click apply and now you'll see the registration marks are in the center of the work. So that I can determine where the center point is of the artwork. Now you can quickly scroll through each of the tabs and have a look at all the registration marks on each of the pages. Alright, so if we have a look at the top uh, left hand corner with the job information, uh, we want to have a look at the color breakdown. Uh, it gives us a Pantone number but it's, it's not really user friendly. So what I'm going to show you is how to create your own customized uh, labels. Firstly remove the uh, description so we don't have the description up top anymore and now we're going to create our own little labels that will give us our color separations marking the colors as red, green, yellow and black. Alright, so using the text tool we're going to type in the colors black, green, red, yellow. Then using Control K on the keyboard which will enable us to separate each line. Next we're going to click on the color black and use its Pantone color represented below. We'll do the same for green, red and yellow. Note the colors used on the color tabs is the same colors as used within the artwork. Now we have all the colors selected. We can scale this down to any size we want or position it anywhere on the page as long as it's not within the artwork. Alright, so now we'll go back to our print preview so that we can have a look at our color separations. Note the labels on each of the pages marking the colors. Uh, this makes it a lot easier to identify when uh, you've done your printed positives. Once you're happy with your um, color separations, you are now ready to click print to print out your film positives. Alright, that concludes this video tutorial. If you want to view more videos with regards to artwork and designing using Coral Draw for screen printing, please subscribe. And if you have any recommendations on video tutorials that you might require, please leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.